Mr. Beagley. Hey there, it's Gerbigli, and today I'm playing a game called Christmas Drop over here on lag.com. We're continuing the holiday spirit here, playing this game that I believe is like an arcade puzzle style game, something like that. Not 100% sure. You drop some shapes into a container and you match them up, which sounds very, very fun. Very similar to some other styles of games I've played here on Lagged. So really excited for this one, especially because, again, we're getting that Christmas fever going. All of us... Getting ready for the holidays together. Let's jump on in. Okay, so play. And, alright, we have... Okay, up in the upper right, it tells me my next piece. Got a little hexagon? Hexagon? Is that a hexagon? Pentagon. Pentag pentagram? I, whatever. It, with a snowman in it. <laughs> I clearly paid attention in school. Uh, we got a gingerbread guy, slightly larger. Oh, I just had a realization. While this Christmas music, while the Christmas bells are jingle jangling in my brain, I came to a realization. This game is just Suica game. Oh god, if you guys don't know what Suica game is, it is a absolutely popular viral uh, game that you match up pieces like this. Oh my god, it even has the same chain reactions. It's called the watermelon game as well, where you match up different fruit and they get larger and larger until you eventually have a watermelon, which is worth like bonus points. And uh, then if you get two watermelons and match those, you get even more bonus points. So the goal is to keep making the shapes get larger. Now this one seems like it might actually be more complicated because so many of the shapes are flat edged which means that they won't roll into each other quite as easily except for that star in the circle there maybe the mistletoe a little bit so there's going to be some strats in this game see i just pushed those shapes together to make a larger one a big lollipop oh my god oh this is bad news for me this is really bad news for me because i am going to play a lot of this off camera oh god i'm so addicted to these types of games they're so fun there's something about strategizing, trying to get, like, a really high score. I don't know how this one works, because this is obviously new to me. But, uh, on Suica game, trying to get a score of 3,000 is very good. How high can I get the score on this? Oh my god, gotta drop. So we got Snowman, that turns into Gingerbread, which turns into Mistletoe, which turns into the Round Star, it looks like. And then it turns into candy canes, which turn into lollipops when they touch. Oh my god. And you'll see here, you know, I got plenty of space to work with right now. And it's nice that the flat sides sort of like land together. Like, even though it sucks that they don't roll together as easily, it's easier to strategize and like prop things up against each other like that. That was a crazy chain reaction. That was a huge one. Oh my god. Oh, lollipops touch. Yes! We got a Christmas tree, baby! Christmas tree moment! Let's go! Okay, so we got that. It is nice that you can prop the shapes up against each other. Like, in Suica game, the strawberries suck. They're like a little tiny piece that doesn't really fit in anywhere, and it blocks your other moves pretty regularly, which is really frustrating. Um, so I'm wondering if the gingerbreads or the snowmen are going to be more of that. But because they have flat sides... You can kind of, again, you can stack the pieces a little bit easier without having them roll everywhere. Now, it does make it hard because, like, on the right side there, these pieces sort of wedge together. Oh, God. And then if these if these approach the line up at the top, if they go above the container line, I lose automatically, I'm pretty sure. Just, like, the similar types of games to this one. Oh, my God. This is bad. This is so bad for me. I love these types of games. Okay, if you didn't... <gasps> we got a big decoration! We got a big bobble! Oh, that's sick. Oh my god, big bobble moment. Big bobbles in the chat. We did it. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. There we go. Um, okay, so the strategy is very different in this game. Like, the objective is the same, but the strats you use to do stuff. Oh my god, those ever-shifting physics. I wasn't even doing anything on that side of the board, and those two things ended up touching. Helping make my life a little bit easier, thank goodness. Oh, the strats. 
the strat unlock potential here in this game. Oh, I love these types of games. All right. So, we got our stars. We got our candy canes. It, you know, all the Christmas goodies. All the classic Christmas goodies. Here, like mistletoe. Who doesn't remember fondly taking a delicious bite of mistletoe? You know? <laughs> and then it being rushed to the ER because you have poisoned yourself. <laughs> you know, really bringing the Christmas spirit together. By having a family trip to the ER. Oh, those fond memories of when I was younger. All right. Uh, God dang. Okay, so candy canes are starting to stack up a little bit. We got lollipops down here. I think the gingerbread turned out to be the strawberry of this game, you know? They're just the wrong size, but they're enough of a, a hindrance to get in the way of other pieces. They're really common. They're bopping into stuff. Oh my god, that chain reaction though, baby. That felt good. Uh, there's just too many of them, really. So I think that maybe Gingerbread Man is gonna become our our strawberry in this game. All right, smash that down there. Yes, he like it's like right in the middle of all this stuff. It's right in the way. That's so frustrating. Get out of my dang way, dude. Gingerbread man, who even eats gingerbread cookies outside of Christmas? You're only relevant one time of the year, man. Come on. I get it. You're trying to shine. You're trying to take the spotlight. I made this like, why did, why am I bullying a, a, a gingerbread cookie? It's not even a real gingerbread cookie. It's an image. It's an avatar of a gingerbread cookie. <laughs> Does that say something about me? Am I messed up for that? Should I talk to my therapist about this? Probably. <laughs> Hey, therapist, I was playing this game where you match up Christmas decorations and I started yelling at one of them and saying they were ruining Christmas and they weren't relevant outside of Christmas. Does that make me a bully? Am I transferring all of the bullying that was done to me when I was young onto a artificial avatar? Oh god, I'm, I am. This is, this is classic transference and projecting. Oh no. All right. <laughs> All right. Out of the psych session into real strats here. Here we go. This is where it gets real. Oh, no. So these flat sides, see if those are round, those might have rolled into this pit in the middle. But instead, we have all this dead space in the middle. Oh, God, dude. How now, brown cow? How do I get through this? There's so much blocking. And again, it's the gingerbread guys. The gingerbread men. Oh my god. Is it not time to have gingerbread other genders besides just men? Gingerbread men dominating the space. Alright. There's other ginger voices we could invite to the conversation, yes? Alright. What is going on here? This is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, they're all stacking up. It seems so holly jolly Christmas until a moment ago. Oh boy, we are stacked to the gills with stuff. I keep forgetting I can get a preview of what's to come. I could be strategizing a lot better. This is kind of on me. Oh, that's so far up there. Oh, 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 the chain reaction. <gasps> Rudolph moment. Whoa, there's one above the decorations. No shot. No shot. That just saved everything. Rudolph, you just saved Christmas, man. Look at you go. Oh my god, Santa's gonna be so proud of you. He's not only gonna be asking you to, you know, lead his sleigh. Not only going to just look at you as a manual laborer, but he's also going to be so proud of you for saving the day there. Wow, I didn't know that we could get all the way up to Rudolph. Now I'm really in the festive mood. Oh, see, dang, this is where all these, like, oh my god, all these sides are getting in the way of each other. They're really, really getting in the way of each other. Oh, I can't slip anything past these. Okay, we're we got snowman coming up. Got mistletoe after that. Drop that down there, I guess. There's not much I can do. They're not round enough. They're not small enough to slip through here. We got a star coming up. Save me. Almost. Okay, two snowmen in a row means I can do this. Get a star. The stars are the best, again, because they are round. Astute gameplay observation me. Great. I'm so glad I decided to talk in that moment. Okay. Uh, got that. Oh, I should have saved the gingerbread. Okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Salvageable. Salvageable. 
Is it though? Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, we're so far above the line, but it's letting us survive for some reason. I didn't mean to drop that there. No. Oh no. That was so close. So it looks like in this game, maybe like two or three K are still pretty decent scores. Just like the classic Suica slash watermelon game. This was so fun though. I think I only had time for that run, but you guys can see how it's so easy to just jump back in, replay, try to beat your high score and do better. It looks very simplistic. Very, very complicated because of the RNG in this game, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me drop all this Christmas cheer here, welcoming in the holidays together with such a fun little arcade game. If you did enjoy it, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.